So Everson Griffin has been probably one of the top defensive ends in football for the past decade. Obviously, he's a little bit older now. He's about, I don't know exactly, I want to say 32-ish, but I, I'm spitballing that. Let me know what his actual age is. Confirm it for me. But Everson Griffin was on the Cowboys this year after a long career in Minnesota where he was pretty dominant. He was a regular 8 to 12 sack kind of guy and a really good edge rusher. Powerful, quick, twitchy, you know, just a really good athlete. A Viking edge rusher. Like they seem to grow on trees out there. But he's got a little bit of a edge to him a toughness to him that really made that viking defense a lot of fun to watch over the years this move is awesome for the lions you know they get him for a sixth round pick i actually remember seeing buzz that the lions were going to make a play for him in the off season so it's really interesting to see that they made a trade for him now and this was something that i was actually tweeting about and i was preaching about the Lions needed a pass rusher. Like, it didn't have to be, like, Aaron Donald or anything like that, but just a guy that can get to the quarterback when they need a guy to just win a one-on-one -on -one and win a pass rush rep and just get to the quarterback. Every team needs a guy like that. It doesn't have to be, you know, the greatest edge rusher in the world, but I feel like the more valuable guys... The more valuable way to build a defense, in my opinion right now, is build through your secondary and find those value rushers that you can find. And the Patriots have done that year after year after year under Bill Belichick. You know, they had guys like Chris Long or Jabal Sheard or Rob Ninkovich or these guys that were really good. And Adrian Claiborne was a long line of those guys. Like, they were really good on third down when you just needed to get a pressure. You needed to get after the quarterback. And it didn't always show up in the stats, but Everson Griffin is that kind of guy. Um, he can win a one-on-one -on -one rush. You can align him on the edge. You can align him uh, inside as well. We've seen that from Minnesota. I think he's primarily going to play on the edge because the other thing I wanted to see from Detroit was get some athleticism on their front, which I think this actually makes Trey Flowers better because I think far too much we've seen Trey Flowers play on the edge where I think he needs to play more in the inside because that's really where he's dominant as a pass rusher. And I'm not saying he hasn't been good for them. He has, but this kind of allows more versatility and, and, and depth to that position and allows their third down pass rush to be a little bit better. And I do feel he's going to be more of a situational player for them. He's going to be like a Chris Long was for Patricia's defense in 2016. An ed a veteran edge rusher who still got a little bit of juice left, but is a contributor. He's not an every down player. He just comes in there and does his job and just tees up and goes versus the quarterback when he knows it's going to be a pass. Like that's going to be Everson Griffin. He might play occasionally like on rundowns because he's still a good player, but that's probably why they got him. And that is going to be his role. In terms of you know how good is he right now like I think he's still solid I don't think he's like a top 10 top 20 edge rusher he had two and a half sacks I think with the Cowboys through six games I want to say so he had you know an all right start not nothing great at all but his numbers don't look great but I think he's still at least a top 40 top 30 even maybe pass rusher and and the older you get as a pass rusher the more you need those rest reps, like the more you can't play every snap. And I think part of the problem for Dallas was they lost a lot of their depth at the defensive line and they weren't able to traditionally do what they like to do, which is play a lot of players on the defensive line because they didn't have the depth. So it forced Griffin into a lot of snaps where they didn't really necessarily want to play uh, Everson Griffin on every snap. So Griffin now is just going to be put in a role where I think the Lions have a decent amount of depth up front and they don't need to play him on every down to where it's going to make him more effective when he does come in the game. Because the older you get, the less tank you have in the gas, or the less gas you have in the tank. Sorry. So you need to be able to use that when you really need to.